Modern day XC athletes are absolute weapons with mind boggling fitness and incredible technical abilities. They make us mere mortals look like, well, we're almost standing still. But how hard do they train? How fast are they really? And do you reckon you could actually get anywhere near them on the trail? Well, luckily today we're gonna find out. As thanks to Garmin, we have multiple World Cup winner, Olympian and world champion, Evie Richards, who we're gonna pit against our amateur and a beginner for a true battle of beginner versus amateur versus pro XCO edition. XC races these days are nothing to be sniffed at, with races lasting around an hour and a half long over varied terrain and crazy weather conditions. They really are a true test. So let's take a look at our competitors for today, from reigning world champion right the way through to the beginner. Hannah Freestone, age 39, height 5 for 8, occupation, account director, years racing, zero. Greatest achievement? making it down a black run whilst in Morzine. Evie Richards, age 24, height 5 foot 3, occupation professional cross country racer. Years racing 7, greatest achievement 2021 XC world champion. There's the stats, now let's hear from our competitors. How long have you been riding for? About 5 years. How often do you ride? About twice a year. Have you ever raced cross country before? No. Evie, how many XC races over your career do you think you've done? I couldn't even tell you like my results from the season just gone, so I don't even know where to start with the number, but I suppose I've raced since like 17 now. And when I race from March till September, I race every weekend basically. So I must be over a hundred, surely. Tell me a little bit about your career so far. Um, <laughs> it's quite long, isn't it? I don't really know to start. But I became world champ this year. <laughs> that's the best thing that's happened. When it comes to data then, obviously being a top athlete, you must use Garmin data quite a lot, I presume? Yeah, I said to Dad, it feels like naked when I don't go... When I, I went on a run yesterday without my heart rate monitor and it felt a bit like, a bit strange, but I just train off heart rate and my coaches use my power. But yeah, like after the finish line, you can always see me like either on the floor or something, like stopping it because Obviously, they're not at the races, so it's really helpful for them to see like how I'm responding to each races, especially when they're back to back. No, I've never used data before. I think it might make me a bit nervous to see my heart rate, but it'll be good to see the stats at the end. What do you think your chances are against Evie today? Zero. <laughs> We've met the competitors. Now let's take a look at the course that they'll be tackling. Today's loop is the Forest of Dean's Verderers Trail, a mixture of punchy climbs and fun descents. It's approximately 10.9 kilometers long, has 170 meters of elevation gain, both up and down, and the recently surfaced final descent should make for a thrilling finish. Each rider will be putting in a hot lap. Hannah will set off first, followed by Evie five minutes later. Remember, this is a timed event. The winner will be the rider with the fastest time around the course, not necessarily the one who crosses the line first. Using data is an important part of cross-country riding. Regulating heart rate and power to ensure a rider is working at an optimal performance throughout a ride or race. Average and maximum speeds also provide an insight into rider's performance and can indicate areas to improve on when analysed in combination with the rider's location on track. All of our competitors are using the latest Garmin Edge head units paired with Garmin heart rate monitors. Enough talking for now, let's get racing, starting with our beginner, Hannah. Three, two, one, go on Hannah! Go on, Hannah! Three, two, one, go get her! Go on!
As this is a beginner versus amateur versus pro, you've probably realized we haven't introduced the amateur. Now, having dabbled in XC riding and racing, we thought who best to bring in than Gareth Richards? Who is Gareth Richards, you may ask? Well, he's Evie's dad. He's hung up the XC bike for today and brought his e-bike along to spice things up. Can an e-bike beat the current cross-country world champion? There's only one way to find out. Right, Gareth, the other two have set off. You are chasing not only Hannah, the underdog, but you're chasing the world champion, an Olympian, and your daughter. What do you reckon? Oh, no pressure there, then, is there? <laughs> OK. All right, mate, ready in three, two, one. Go get him, buddy. Go on. E-bike power. but can the current world champion make up the five minute deficit and overtake our beginner? Clean overtake from Evie puts her firmly ahead of Hannah. Gareth and his e-bike are hot on their heels though, and he's looking hungry for it. It's going to be a fight to the finish line. Just a little bit the wrong way. <laughs> really? <laughs> nice to be back on the mountain bike though. Yeah, With and a, a shock fast to the lap. system. <laughs> yeah. Right, who do we think is going to come in next? Your dad or Hannah? Yeah, I think dad will come in next. Oh, you think your dad's yeah. going to come in next? Good, on your left. Thanks, Hannah. Woo! Oh, well done, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Flip. Wow, how was it? It was really fun. Yeah? Really fun, but really, like, I can taste blood. Good, you can tell. <laughs> oh, X, welcome to the world of cross country. <laughs> you just pipped Hannah at the finish as well. Yeah. Was that a bit of motivation? Could it you was. see her in your sight in the crosshairs? It took ages for me to actually track Hannah down. That's oh, like, quicker than gosh, she looks, she maybe. Quick. Good, good lines going down there as well. <laughs> good lines. Yeah, she was. All right, well, we've got the times. I think it's probably... Uh... Shall I have a look? No, I can't. No, you can't <laughs> see. <laughs> you can't find out the time just yet. Hang on. Okay, guys and girls, how was it? The race is done. How are we feeling? Yeah, pretty tired. Yeah? Evie? I'm ready to go again. Oh, <laughs> oh, Gareth? No more laps, I'm tired. Right, okay. Well, in my book of numbers here, I have the results. Ladies, how do you think you did? Better than I thought. Okay, Evie? I'm not sure, I felt a little bit tired, so oh, a bit okay. slow maybe. All right, well look, I can reveal, Hannah, you did it in 39 minutes and 45 seconds. Well Yay! done. Evie, however, you were a bit faster. You did it in 28 minutes and 33. 
Yeah. Congratulations, congratulations. But do you think you are faster potentially than your dad on an e-bike? Do you think you could beat an e-bike around that lap? I'm not sure he underplays himself a little bit. He does do his training secretly, so I don't know. I think wow. it'll be a hard one. I think people out there would like to know whether, whether the world <laughs> champ is quicker than an e-bike. And on this occasion, Gareth, you did it in staggeringly 25-24. There you go. <laughs> but I mean, basically what that comes down to, average speeds, Hannah, you were 14. Evie, you were 20, and Gareth, you were 23k an hour. I think the average speed's uphill there. You can't match a motor, really, can you? And what about heart rates? Oh, oh God, ever, oh, the, ever the athlete, yeah, look. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Hannah, you averaged 159 and maxed at 168. Okay. Gareth, you averaged 155 and maxed at 166. Evie, blur my neck, put some effort in. Average 171 and max 184. Some not bad and blooming impressive numbers for a world champ there, I think. Well done, everybody. You all absolutely smashed it. Do you know what? If you guys out there, if you'd like to see any more beginner versus amateur versus pro, let us know in the comments below. Or if you'd like to see Hannah go through the ringer on another discipline, maybe, or do an XC race, well, also let us know, because I'd like to see that. But that's it from us. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and we'll catch you next time. See you later.